Kourtney Kardashian Barker isn't afraid to show her true feelings, even if it offends those nearby. The 44-year-old creator of Push discussed how her mother Kris Jenner is a massive control freak on Thursday's episode of The Kardashians, raising questions about why she acts that way. What about you makes you have this need to be so controlling? Sitting next to her mother and sister, Khloe Kardashian, Courtney posed the question. Are you ever curious about yourself about why you're so controlling? Chloe, 39, advised Courtney to accept Chris for who she is, pointing out that she won't change, especially at 68. You weren't like that when you were in your 20s, but also you had a husband who led the way, and now you lead the way, Courtney stated to her mother. It does exist, you can be back in your feminine energy whenever you desire. When Chris is with her boyfriend, Corey Gamble, she's in heaven, she stated, dismissing her daughter's argument. But Courtney went on to explain that feminine energy is self-care, not overthinking, not overdoing, and she asked her mother if she sees a therapist. In a confessional, Chloe remarked, God bless Courtney because she's trying to have this therapy talk, and God bless my mom because she's definitely not. Chris then shifted the subject to highlight Courtney's dimple. Returning to the subject at hand, Courtney confided in her mother and sister about how attending treatment had changed the way she perceived generational trauma. You know how true, Thompson, has eggs in her body right now? She addressed Chloe, the five-year-old daughter of Tristan Thompson, with her question. She had them in her when she was in your body. Courtney went on, she was inside of you when you were inside of mom. Therefore, the trauma that, Grandma, MJ and Nana experienced is within me and you as well, as it was within mom. Since mom was living inside their body. Chloe, surprised by her sister's line of reasoning, questioned, is that the definition of generational trauma? We're using TikTok to provide medical advice? In a confessional, Courtney went into more detail about the situation. I had no idea what I was doing as I embarked on a self-awareness quest. After entering treatment as a result of a toxic relationship, I discovered a wealth of information about my family, myself, and the reasons behind my actions. I also learned about our early traumas and how they manifest in close relationships, as well as generational trauma. Chloe received clarification from Courtney, who said, it's like, they're traumas that get passed down but it's within a lot of things that we have within us. No offense or anything. But why don't people say, we all have problems, just buckle up and let's go, asked the creator of Good America, clearly not persuaded by her sister. There are certain patterns to break if you don't want to pass things down to your kids, Courtney continued. You think choosing bad partners is a genetic thing? In response, Chloe inquired, and Courtney said, I think it's generational, it's from MJ. Chris then added her voice, stating that her mother had picked amazing partner with Papa. Courtney, however, challenged the assertion, stating, she was married three times, we all have picked people we thought we could change different things about them and we can't. Similar to Chloe, Chris expressed doubt and informed her kid, I lead an amazing and busy life. Why am I revisiting and reimagining? Courtney emphasized once more, it's just if you wish to alter specific behaviors. Someone told me I needed to go to therapy because I was in a toxic relationship when I first started. Courtney gave up on the topic after Chris once again shifted the conversation to focus on her eyebrows. In any case, not everyone needs therapy, she informed her mother and sister. Courtney said in a confessional that her mother eventually connected with what she was saying, despite her best efforts. My mom tries to change subjects, or not really face these types of topics, but it really does sink in, she said. She sends me a video afterwards of saying, there's always that one daughter in the family who does things her way and heals all the family's generational trauma, and I was like, okay, you were listening. As her followers are aware, Courtney has long been a strong advocate for seeking therapy. She revealed to Health in March 2020 that she has been receiving therapy for the previous three years as she battles anxiety. I attend a double session once a week, she stated. I eagerly anticipate it each week. With that alertness, I nearly always manage to catch things before they get out of hand. What's the lesson that I'm supposed to be learning, she said, reflecting on her darker experiences. My exercises are also essential. Additionally, I try to attend church once a week. Get the best of people, 
from celebrity news to gripping human interest stories, sent straight to your inbox by subscribing to their free daily newsletter. Hulu offers a complete streaming of The Kardashians.